Welcome back. Uh, in this video, um, we are going to move on to downloading the datasets. Just as a refresher on what we have covered so far, we have navigated the Spider and Jupyter Notebook. And now you should be familiar after the previous video. Now, if you haven't watched that video, please do go through that before you come to this Iris dataset and progressing to the next part in the data exploration analysis as well as data visualization and presentation. So in this video, we are going to um, show you where you can go and download the Iris datasets. Naturally, I will also provide that to you uh, in the actual um, uh, so-called link itself, the course link itself, but I just want to show you in case that you want to uh, look at other data sets. So naturally you just go to Google, type UCI machine learning uh, repository. This is where the a lot of the data uh, sets yeah, is sourced from. So you just come over here, uh, Iris data sets, and open that up. And this is uh, the source of the uh, data sets itself. Basically, it contains multivariate, um, not just single or univariate. Um, the task is a classification task, but there are a lot of uh, useful stuff here. So we're going to just uh, play around with it just to see if we can actually make use of it for, um, for our learning purpose. So there are quite a lot of uh, citation that make use of this. It is a really uh, popular and very... Uh, common database that uh, that you can actually or people use to actually illustrate a few concepts the data folder it's here i'll just open up the uh, description as well this is the data folder uh, there is the names and this is you where you download the data itself so these are the actual description It's really really important to read the description now in this part here there are actually 150 uh, i'm going to show you um, how to actually extract that uh, and uh, look through that in details. Let's download the data. Okay, so let's just save this. Save it to our directory. And let me just save this here. So I'd like you to actually give this a try yourself and try to download the data uh, yourself and, uh, and store it in the same folder or same directory that we were not working on. Um, of course, you save it into your project directory uh, so that we can actually access it in the next video. So that's pretty much uh, the end of this video. In the next video, we're not gonna, we are going to go into analysis of the data itself uh, before we move on to visualization.